Here's how I reported my monstera, in particular burying the aerial roots. Two weeks ago it was in this smaller pot. It was almost always on its side and not getting any water, but managed to survive through its aerial roots. When repotting it, I found that burying the aerial roots helped it stand up without a moss pole. And already it seems like there are some new roots coming off the aerial roots. This aerial root, which was partially buried, actually withered away past the point. So I'm going to empty it out again into this tub. Here's what the roots look like now. I can see plenty of new roots coming from the old aerial roots. Here's the soil I'm going to use. It's old potting soil. Other YouTubers have said that the most important thing for Monstera is drainage. So I figure this soil is better than very good potting soil. I'm adding a few handfuls of this soil conditioner for nutrients. So here's the Monstera in an even bigger pot, 40 centimeters. It has holes across the whole bottom. So I put some netting there to stop the soil from falling out. And here it is all potted up. Here it is after a month. It's been very easy care. It has been raining quite a lot recently, so I haven't had a need to water it. The leaves have spread out quite a bit. This bit where the new leaf comes from looks like it's going quite light. Another three days and the leaf is starting to shoot. Two more days and the leaf is fully out now. It's unfurled now after another five days. After another 10 days. There are some strange roots here. I think this is where it hit the ground before. There are normal roots acting like aerial roots. It's been two months since the repotting, so it's a good chance for me to add some more fertilizer to the roots and to show you what the new roots look like now. There's a new aerial root growing off the latest node here. So here it is all emptied out again. You can see each aerial root has grown a new clump of soil roots and look pretty healthy. Eventually I want to see if I can propagate it by cutting it down low so that each section is supported by fully grown roots. But for now, I just need a plant with some height. Mix in some more sea mungus. And back into the pot.